Hello students, today we will be going over 10.5, Solving Systems of Equations by Elimination. This is page 200 in your blue packet. Um, and at the top, our objective, I can solve a system of equations with elimination. And here's an example putting all the steps together. So we have equation 1 and equation 2 right here. Okay, first you have to determine which variable to eliminate. Um, they have selected y. Uh, because all you have to do is make one of those opposites, and you can multiply one of them by negative 1, and you get rid of the y's. Um, so here's all the steps, and here's all the reasons. I'm going to go ahead and jump to number 1 here, where it says x minus y equals 2, and negative x minus 6y is negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead. I can see I'm going to eliminate x because they're opposites here. So when I add those two together... Remember, that's a negative 1y, so I get negative 7y equals 2 plus a negative 2 is 0, divide by negative 7, and y equals 0. Now, if y is 0, now we plug it back in. What minus 0 equals 2? So we go x minus 0 equals 2, and we say x equals 2. So our solution is 2, comma, 0. And we're done with number 1. Okay, let's go on to number 2. And we see we already have opposites here, so this is fabulous. We can cross those out. Negative 3x plus x is negative 2x. And negative 27 plus 7 is negative 20. Divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2 and we get x equals 10. Now we plug that into one of the equations and we get 10 plus 3y equals 7. I went ahead and did this for number 2. Um, for the second equation, because it's easier, then I'm going to go minus 10, solve for y. 3y equals negative 3, divide by 3. So y equals negative 1. So our solution is 10, negative 1. Again, you want to put it in ordered pair form. And there's your answer for number 2. I'm going to go ahead and do number 3 down here. And it says to eliminate y. 1 is negative 7y, negative 7y. So they're not opposites. So now we're going to make one of them opposite by multiplying one of them by a negative 1. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with the second one and make this um, neg. Actually, let me do it on the first one. Negative 9x plus 7y equals negative 1. Now I'm going to add the 2, and that's 1x equals 4 because these two go away. So now we put that into one of the equations. I can put, let's see. 10 times 4 minus 7y equals 5. 10 times 4 is 40, so I'm going to make that 40. Now I'm going to minus 40 from this side, minus 40 from that side, and I get negative 7y equals negative 35. Divide by negative 7, y equals 5. So again, our ordered pair is 4, 5. Okay. All right, let's go on to page 201. Where we have number 7, and it says eliminate y. So again, I'm going to multiply one of them by a negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and take this top one, multiply this by a negative 1. That means I just change all the signs. So I get negative 8x. The y's go away because it's negative 2y plus positive 2y equals negative, is that going to be 40? Divide by negative 8. x equals 5. Now we can put it back into the equation. Negative 7 times 5 plus 2y equals negative 23. Okay, negative 35 
plus 2y equals negative 23. Add 35. Add 35. And we get 2y equals, hmm, is that 14? We have to subtract because it's a battle. So y equals 7. So then we write it in ordered pair form. Um, let's see, did I do something wrong there? Negative 7x plus 2y, and we know x is 5. Okay. Yeah. This should be 12. My bad. So y is 6. So then we write it in ordered pair form, 5 comma 6. Okay, students, you can get the rest of this. You rock.